about the district right now. It has certainly been a busy year in the nation's capital in the next few weeks will likely be no different. So we want to get a glimpse as to what's going to be happening in the next month or so here in the nation's capital as we get ready to start a new chapter and a new year. Mayor Muriel Bowser joins us alive to talk about it. Definitely a lot to get to this morning. Mayor, good to see you. Good morning. Well, hi, Steve. How are you? Happy holidays to you. And happy holidays to you as well. You know, the holidays right now, it's a time when we typically would be gathering with family, friends, loved ones, uh, whether at home or out and about. Can't do that this year. And I know that the dining restrictions, you're trying your best to keep everybody safe. Um, but you got to empathize with the small business owners and restaurant owners a little bit because this is the time of year a lot of folks would be giving them a lot of business. Well, I empathize with everybody who has been impacted by COVID. Uh, I don't have to tell you how significant a virus this is. It's infecting the entire world, not just us in the district, uh, not just restaurants, but entertainment venues, arenas, and gatherings of all sizes. So I certainly empathize with so many people who uh, who have lost business, who have lost jobs, and who have lost loved ones. With the indoor dining specifically, Mayor, with the order now that will restrict that until January 15th, as we get closer to the 15th, is it a wait and see and revisit strategy, or do you hope that we can open up again on the 15th? It is it's our hope that um, this pause around the holidays where we see increased movement and travel and gatherings and, and celebrations, that this is a reminder to everybody that now's the time to dial back all of that activity. Um, we see rising cases. Today we reported over 300 cases and seven deaths in the district um, and even more um, virus and death in uh, the areas surrounding us in Maryland and Virginia. So we can't let our guard down, Steve. I think that's the message I want to tell people. We've been responding to this and surviving this for 10 months, uh, and we all need to get to the other side of it so that we can um, be vaccinated and get back to normal. Sure. Is it tougher this second go-round? And I, I hate to use even the term second go-round because we've been dealing with this now since March is, is almost a continuous thing. But, you know, we shut everything down once, Mayor. We tried to get back to normal. We're shutting it down again. Now that we're in this second time of going through this, even if it continues beyond January 15th, uh, is it tougher from a, an administrative standpoint, from a business standpoint, from an enforcement standpoint? Um, I think what uh, we still have a similar goal. We need our health care workers to be able to handle very sick people that come to the hospital uh, with COVID. Uh, and so you can see by watching our daily metrics that more people are going to the ICU. Uh, we've had uh, in, increased um, numbers of uh, people who are you having very intensive treatments while while in the hospital. Um, so we have to be concerned that the hospital capacity uh, can handle um, people who are getting very sick from COVID. And it, sadly, it, um, what you see, you first see the increased case rates, hospitalizations, and then you see more death related to COVID. Sure. If you don't see those improvements in the next three weeks or so, are you prepared to put even harsher restrictions in place again? Our hope is that this pause uh, is what we need uh, to deal with the, the holiday spike in activity uh, and cases. Uh, and so that, that's where we are. And we're not alone um, in ha asking our residents uh, to pause for the holidays. You, a couple of weeks ago, you heard a very impassioned um, plea from uh, Angela Merkel in Germany. Um, there are other governors uh, who have a similar pause with an end date around the holidays. Um, so this is a time uh, where we're asking people, we know a lot of people are already taking off of work. We've asked people to do maximum telework um, that's possible. Limit their activities. Um, we know that people have to go out for food and supplies and shopping, um, but think about how you can limit those trips so you're not, um, that you're not, you know, circulating around the city too much. So stay home as much as possible. Sure. Let's switch gears for a minute. Uh, you introduced uh, the new police chief uh, incoming to D.C. to uh, residents yesterday for people who are in D.C. and in the department. Uh, certainly not somebody new. Been with the department over 30 years talking about Bob Conte. Uh, yes. What is it that you want to see from him now? Uh, and do you expect a change, whether it be more community policing, a different way of policing in the district with the new chief now at the, in that position? 
Well, certainly we're, we were very excited, and as you say, to introduce um, Rob Conti to some, um, but he started his career at MPD at the age of 17 as a police cadet, uh, and he explained to everybody how uh, joining MPD changed the trajectory of his life, uh, and his commitment uh, to D.C. was just so clear uh, in his statements. Uh, what's also clear in his statements is the spectrum of interventions that police have at their hands um, from making sure that violent and repeat offenders uh, see justice um, and their victims see justice. Um, but in a very personal story, he showed how sometimes it's, it's treatment and counseling that's in order and not arrest and a car incarceration. Um, so that is, I think, what not only you can expect from MPD, um, but what we have tried to do in our administration for the last six years. Make sure we deal with public safety um, from uh, all ends, from enforcement, um, but also to providing more opportunity. So we will look forward in the coming uh, year to talk to DC residents about more comprehensive ways to deal um, with crime, because no one can be satisfied with the level of violence that some neighborhoods in our city see. Uh, and that's reflected in what we see in increased shootings and unfortunately increased homicides. Right, a lot of people in DC saying they wanted more of an understanding. Uh, we'll see if that works now with someone who uh, grew up in Northeast DC, hopefully uh, taking control of the department here. Mayor, uh, we see the tree behind you and the blackboard behind you, which I'm assuming is your daughter. So I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. My same to you. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mayor. Good to see you.